Hello and welcome to day seven. We're really pleased that you've stuck with us for a whole week. Today we're going to be talking about the fact that we are a new creation. And the first sentence of this chapter says, when you became a Christian, you were born again. Andy, what does it mean by born again? I know, it's such a weird phrase, yeah. isn't it? Born again. I mean, in America, you've got to be born again to become a president, haven't you? Wow. Yeah, you think, mm. <laughs> um, So, yeah, so the, the story starts with a priest called Nicodemus going to see Jesus late at night, and yeah. Jesus says to him, you must be born again. And the guy's like, what? I could have <laughs> go back in my mum's womb. That's, that's yeah. just, like, weird. Yeah. Uh, so what Jesus is really getting at is that, that when we become Christians, the very second mm. that we come to Christ. We are. We're brand new. Yeah. We're a new creation. It's Amazing. as if we are born again. Yeah. So that's like the first thing is that that it's a complete fresh new start. Mm. You're a baby. You're a new baby. You're born again. Yeah. The slate is wiped clean. All that stuff that we mucked up, it's all gone. It's How new, amazing new start. Is that? Yeah. It's fantastic. And then the second thing is that uh, one of my favourite verses, in fact, when I was about 16, First verse I learned was 2 Corinthians 5.17. I'm going to try and quote yeah. it now. <laughs> Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Yeah. The old is gone, the new has come. And it's that moment that, you know, as I've said, that moment that we come to Christ, the old has gone. The old us is gone, yeah. the new us is there. And uh, I just think that's such a powerful, uh, helpful thing. It's about our identity, isn't it? Yeah. If we get our identity solidly in, hey, I'm a new creation. Mm. Hey, I'm born again. Yeah. Everything else kind of pops out. Mm. And then there's that last one, isn't there, which you'll talk about in a minute, but it's that kind of heart of uh, Ezekiel in the Old Testament pro prophesies. He promises that when Jesus comes, that he will take a heart that was stone mm. and make it into flesh. So tell us about that, Paige. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Such a wonderful promise yeah. for us that we are completely new. And it is actually no work of our own, is it? Um, in the book here, it says that your spirit has been made alive in Christ. So to, in order to have been made alive, we have to have been dead, don't yeah. we? Yeah. And I heard a friend talk about the fact that when you're dead, you're dead. You know, you can't do a single thing. You can't even breathe for yourself. You are dead. Yeah. And so here we see that Christ has made us alive. So it's all his work. He's the one who's done it. And I loved what you said earlier on in the series about us leaning on him and putting our full weight on him and this this has to be where our trust sits because we couldn't do it ourselves so he's done it for us and the grace that he has on us mm. for that is just wonderful and I suppose it doesn't always feel like that does it it doesn't always feel like I'm a new person and in the book again it says that you wake up the next day and you still do the same things and like your spirit is made new but your body needs to catch up and and so much of our culture this western culture is mm. about feeling and we put trust in feeling mm. rather than fact so I feel this way so I'm going to do that or oh, now today I feel like I'm going this way mm. and the bible really strongly warns against that and it says stick close to the truth and um, the truth will set you free. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I think, uh, I mean, that is the problem, is that, that, that depending on what we've had to eat the night before, how much sleep we had, is how we feel as Christians. And that's just ridiculous yeah. because the truth is that these wonderful things are true, aren't they? Yeah. We are born again. We are new creations. We have a, a heart of flesh, not a heart of stone. And there's an old illustration of a train where um, Christianity really is, there's the facts about Jesus. Mm. He he really did come down. He really did die for us, and he really did rise again. And we put our faith in that. So the facts are the kind of engine of the train. The, yeah. fact, uh, the faith that we have is, is behind that. And then our feelings, they kind of come into line with that. And so, you know, we've really got to make sure that we're not living our Christian life and how do, well we're doing based on our feelings. It's on the, on the truth of Scripture yeah. and, and the facts and the faith that we put in that. Yeah. yeah, I think the other thing that we uh, need to realise is that, that our spirit is already brand new, it's, it's sorted. Mm. Our minds, as we said, you know, like you get saved don't you? and you think, oh, it's amazing. Mm. Next day you wake up and, and, and you're thinking the same bad thoughts. Our minds need changing, mm. don't they? And then our bodies yeah. need to obey that. Yeah. So it all starts in here. Yeah. You are a new creation. You are born again. You've got a heart of flesh. Let that truth sink in and believe it. And then out of that, everything good will flow. Yeah. 